is Dashna here and this video is related to our money concept method so uh, overall for money concepts all the steps all the methods the how you should teach money concept to your child everything would be covered in this video and the product here we have used here is from our resource station unicorn resource station uh, product is being what used here For, uh, this product is completely customized for teaching our kids money concept so watch complete video this would be a bit lengthy video but by the end of the video i am very sure that you are going to understand that how you have to teach a uh, money concept to your kids and if anyone wanted to purchase this material you can just drop a message or drop a message to the number given here uh, and you can join our resource station and purchase the material thank you okay so this is the product and here there are multiple steps the activity has a this activity kit has a game in this we have a game game or we could say like purchase shopping list uh, it includes monies duplicate coins and it includes how to play the game and everything so let's start this is the first sheet we have given numbers so that parents can follow the number of worksheets and accordingly you can practice so here we are introducing the coins or the money the identification part is being done so first vaishna what which coin one rupee coin one rupee this is value one 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 rupee okay hmm. now from here pick one rupee which look like this and keep here okay one rupee this is one rupee note see one rupee not note this is not note this is value coin coin one rupee coin coin now two this rupee. two okay keep two okay right two two rupees okay yeah. now this is five rupees mm, take pick five okay five rupees right now we have ten, ten. rupees Coin. Yeah. Yes. Wait. Ten rupees. See. Keep here. This is coin will be kept here. Ten rupees. Coin. And we have duplicate notes here. So from this you have to take ten rupees note. Take the ten rupees note. Please keep. That is note. That is note. Where you have to keep? Here. Ten rupees. Yeah. Yes. So this is twenty rupees coin and take twenty rupees note. That is twenty rupees. No. Note. Okay. This is coin. This is. Twenty rupee note. Note. Okay. So this is how the identification is being done through matching. Now second one is identification of fifty. Ah. Hundred, two hundred, five hundred. Five hundred. With the values we have given, the child has to take the note from here and match. Okay. So coming to the third activity sheet, we have calculate and write the total. So here it will be teaching the counting concept. So it's very important. You have you can practice with our worksheet also. You can use these kind of coins and ask the child to place and then count. Without uh, the worksheet also, you have to practice. Okay, can you do the first one for me? The first one is already done. The second one, can you do one? So one plus two, three plus two, five plus five, ten. Okay, so the answer is ten. So this way. Upside down. Hmm. Okay, it's upside down. So th this way the remaining two should be done. Two plus hmm. plus. Twenty thirty left five thirty eight. Thirty eight rupees. How much? Thirty eight. Sheet number six two six seven eight are for calculation purpose with coins, without coins, with note and coins. Uh, the child has to count and like the particular number would be given and child has to add the values correctly and should the uh, the value is already given like sixty one rupees. So here the child has to tick uh, the values uh, which make sixty one rupees. So this kind of activities are there for. Uh, in the worksheet number six, seven, eight, this is the <coughs> activity game that you have to play for uh, shopping list. Very interesting one. Hmm. You can select one item initially for. Okay, Vaishna, I want you to go to shop and buy a pen. Only one pen. Seven piece. Okay, keep it here. Okay, so okay, it is. Yeah. Okay, you can keep anywhere you want. Okay, seven rupees. Now, can you collect the uh, amount and give here? Place it here. Collect the amount and place it here. Two three plus two five plus two seven. Okay, so how much you have given? Two four five six seven seven rupees. Okay, you can take that pen and go. Bye. Bye. Need a shopping list. So you can take a paper, give a list of things that you want to buy from the shop, and the child will read out to the shopkeeper. The shopkeeper will pick the objects and keep in front of the child. Finally, with the amount, like everywhere there is amount written, the total amount child has to the shopkeeper would be calculating and telling, and pick the uh, amount from the wallet and give. So we have given a list of item to be brought. So okay, I want you to bring from the shop. Writing book. book. Yes, I want book. 
I want uh, one book, okay? One book. One. Yes, I want one book. Yes, one book. And I want bread. Bread, one. then racket. No adding quantity? One, one. Just everything one. So as you work, you can keep increasing the number of quantity needed. So accordingly, the child can count the price and amount. Uh, so it would be, okay, t-shirt. No getting the quantity. One. One. Okay, t-shirt. Ice cream. And one mango. Okay, done. Eight. Okay. Now you can collect the items from the shop. Okay. A second item. Item. You can read the list, collect the item from the cart, keep it on the cart. Please do hmm. So this is something like you can make a uh, shop, keep all the uh, real items. Child can read the price and take it. Hmm. Collect the items. Oh, 23 piece. Hmm. So when you are sending your child to shop, working on ideal skill, this kind of list can be made and child can bring more than one item from the shop. Reading the price, the child can calculate the amount and pay. So this would be a major uh, ideal goal for small age group also and the adults, teenage kids working on this money concept. Hmm. Yes, so the cross deck is done. Now calculate the total amount Pink. yourself. 30. 9, 9, 9, 1, 6, 16. Okay, now take the amount. Give me the price. Give me the price. So here you can give, if you have 500 rupees, you can give me 1000 rupees okay. or you can make a 500 plus remaining amount. Come on, take, take wine here. How much it is? 6 rupees. Give me 6 rupees. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this way it has, does, does it has 916? Mm. 500. Okay, so what I did, I made the list. I asked the child to write number of object or products ordered. Then calculate the price, write together, count it. Then ask the child to make the money. Like <clears throat> from the wallet, collect the amount like 916 rupees. It is like 916 rupees, 916 rupees. And the child is giving 1000 rupees. The customer would be giving the balance amount. So that, that concept also would be covered here. And even if the child has the correct number of amount in the wallet, child can count and give the money so this is all about money concept um, so do practice all the steps uh, need lot of practice like i said if we have list of products then calculating and here like you could see we have quantity so if it is two books then it is 30 then 30 plus 30 so 60 60 um, would be the total amount so this is how will be like 2 2 into 30 uh, it would be 60 so 60 would be the total amount and total amount should be calculated here so according to the quantity the amount would be calculated so this is all about our money concept this product shown in this video except the coins rest everything would be provided in our money concept kit if anyone wanted to order this do place your comment do whatsapp me to the given number and the product would be delivered to your place thank you